Some jobs offer a preferential treatment because we're veterans, which means that your resume moves to the top of the stack to get looked at first. I'm currently in the army, 25 Bravo. Seven years in with two years left. Says so I'm married with two kids, no certifications at the moment. Currently working on my security plus, then A plus, and then maybe an AWS cert. Working on my resume and looking at jobs and going for my bachelor's in IT. Am I on the right track? I'm no one behind. So shout out to Sensei. Uh, Sensei, I say you're on the right track. So here's the thing, Sensei. When I was in the army, I too, I was a 25 Bravo. I was in the army for 13 years, active duty. I was a 25 Bravo, the same MOS. Those of y'all know what 25 Bravo is. That's the IT field for the army, information technology specialist. Also, my last four and a half years in the military, I was an AIT instructor where I taught at Dixon Hall on Fort Gordon, which is now known as Fort Eisenhower. I believe they changed the name to Fort Eisenhower in Augusta, Georgia. So you've been in seven years. I got out the army November 17th, 2015. I've been out eight years. I don't think we crossed paths. So I probably got out a year before you actually came in. And I'm saying that because if he had been in around the time I was getting out, he and I would have crossed paths in real life. Um, but anyways, AIT instructors, that's where the soldiers go after they go through basic training, they go to, to learn whatever job they signed up for. And so, like I say, I was an instructor at Dixon Hall on Fort Gordon, which is now known as Fort Eisenhower. I was there for four and a half years. I was one of the instructors there teaching. So if he had been in, if he had came in like a year earlier, he would have crossed paths with me at this place. So I know all about this MOS because that was my job. But yeah, I think you're on the right path, man. So you've been in seven years. You got two years left, married with some kids. You're getting your certifications, trying to get your AWS cert. I mean, I think you're doing good, man. Just, just go ahead and get the certifications. Take all of your evaluations. I don't know what your rank is. If you're an NCO, take your NCO ERs. You can extract information from that to uh, put on a resume, highlighting all of your tech experience. Um, if you got any type of clearance while you're in, because I know when I was in, I had a top secret clearance. So obviously, I put that on my resume. If you got just a regular clearance or not an interim, what's the one after interim? I forgot. Anyways, if you got some type of security clearance, make sure you keep uh, your record clean so that you can um, use that because that, that could possibly help you with employment options. Obviously, you're going to be a vet. Some jobs offer a preferential treatment because we're veterans, which means that your resume moves to the top of the stack to get looked at first. So take advantage of all those opportunities. Also, you said you're working, you're going for your bachelor's in IT. Uh, that's cool. Use your GI Bill. Or if you're still in, use uh, whatever monies that they allow for you to use while you're in. Then after you get out, then you can use your GI Bill if you want to pursue your degree or a higher level of, of education. That's what I did. After I got out the Army, I went back to graduate school and I used my GI Bill to get my master's in IT and then my MBA. So you got that going for yourself. I would just say just keep doing what you're doing, man. Just if you're not trying to do 20 years in the Army, just finish out your enlistment. Try to get at least a couple of them certifications. Which one did you say you had any? Let me read this again. Oh, no. Try to get at least your A plus, Net plus, Security plus cert and maybe even your AWS. That is extremely possible to to do between now and the two years that you have left just get them certs if you can squeeze a couple college classes in knock them out but anyways by the time you get out the army you start a capping i don't know if they call it a capping anymore but that's what they called it when i got out the army career alumni program but anyway when it's time for you to get out the military and you get your resume together especially if you plan on staying in the fort gore well i keep assuming you're at fort gordon but whatever base whatever wherever you're located at i can promise you there's probably gonna be some jobs available for you either as a government contractor, DOD employee, or if you just want to move back to whatever city you're from and just get straight back to the civilian life, there's going to be opportunities for you. I mean, they were there for me. So just as long as, uh, you know, you ain't out there doing anything stupid. <laughs>